Welcome back to the Huddle. I'm Michael Bumps with Dave Wyman. Now we're joined by JSN. What's up, man? How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. How good, y'all doing? Good, man. We're good. I mean, shoot, 10, what, uh, 92 yards and a touchdown to end that thing. You got your, your second walk-off touchdown, man. Um, I always love when I get a chance to talk to you. I can real talk receiver stuff, man. And <laughs> it's it's the little things that you do that I appreciate. Um, I, I coach at a high school, and I show my kids the film of your touchdown. And it's just a go-route, right? right. But – what young dudes want to do is they want to try to run by the defender like eight yards away from him. I go, no, he's just going to squeeze you to the sideline and you're done. So you being patient in that moment, getting on his toes, swimming him up, it was beautiful. And then, to me, that's the hardest catch in football, over the shoulder, on the sideline. Uh, You made it look easy. Mm -hmm. When they called that play and you saw you had that one-on-one matchup, did you know you were going to get the football? Drew, I knew I was going to get the football, um, but you don't know because it is football and a lot of things can happen. So, you know, I think I'm going to get the football every play, right. I mean, every time I run a route. So, you know, that was a play where it was designed. If we see man-to-man coverage, you know, we're going to take that shot with me. And um, as I go out there, Drew, he, he, you know, stamped it and like, hey, remember man-to-man, you know, it's going up to you. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, just ran my route. And like you said, you know, it's the little things, you know, about the game and the art of route running that I really like and really, you know, try to strive for. And, um, you know, um, been taught by some good people, you know, all credits to, you know, people in my hometown, to Coach Hardline, Ohio State, and, you know, uh, just practice, you know, hard work and, and putting it into the game. And that was just the next catch. So I was happy to make that play. How did you catch the back half of the football? I've only seen that one. I was telling him uh, Josh Gordon was here a few years ago, Mm -hmm. and I saw him do that on like a 60-yard where he caught the back half of it. Like, that's not how you catch a football, man. (laughs) That was incredible. Yeah. You just just reach out for it? Yeah, for that, I just reached out as far as I could and just squeezed it and hope for the best, I guess. And it looked like you didn't even really – like you knew your feet were going to get in. Like Mm -hmm. is that kind of almost like an automatic for you? You – practice it so much right yeah i mean but after dallas game and i don't know what's going on i had to i was really kind of nervous hopefully they didn't <laughs> call it back you know yeah. um but um yeah i mean i knew i had it and uh you know yeah happy to make that catch man i'm watching you play and you you've always been like a fast player but it seems like you're playing even faster like you're, you're noticing things um quicker um is am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, I mean, I feel like you're seeing a young rookie receiver just trying to grow and and growing each week. You know, you know, each week I try to, you know, be on Tyler Lockett's hip and be on DK's hip and learn. And you know, I feel like the best players adjust to you know and and um, you know develop um, to you know be good and and to do the things that. They know they're going to win and be successful. So, you know, that's just what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to grow each week, each game, play faster and faster and, you know, just be there for um, my team. A couple things about you, man. Everybody forgets that you had surgery Mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year, and that was like a record time coming back from that, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, what was it? How much football did you miss? I want to say I missed a good solid week. Yeah. A good solid week. Um, they brought me back in a little slowly, but yeah, yeah. I, when I think about it, it kind of, you know, kind of shocks me too that yeah, I had surgery and I fractured my wrist, you know, right before the season, literally a week before the season, and you know, it was hard, you know, trying to, you know, really catch the ball with a cast on for about three, four weeks, but um, you know, we made it happen, and um, I want to thank the, the, I always thank the um, treatment guys, you know, my people, you know, at home, you know you know, credit to, you know, the work outside the building. And um, we were able to, you know, get back. What's it been like um, on this journey? Because, you know, people see you out there doing your thing, but it's your mom, your dad, your brothers, your, your cousins, your fam back home. Uh, what's what's their reaction been to the season that you're having? They just, you know, they're really dedicated. And they really, <laughs> they're Seahawks fans now. And they take, you know, every loss to heart, you know, every win, you know, they're they're really into it. But um, you know, it's I'm definitely blessed to have, you know, my family and, and the close friends, you know, in my circle. Um, they've been real supportive and um, you know, just to go home and, you know, see them, you know, it's just, you know, always good to talk about football and not talk about football. So, you know, I'm definitely blessed and thankful to, you know, to have mom, dad, brother. 
Another thing I wanted to ask you about uh, during camp, you had, I don't know if it was a tweet or something, but you had a quote where you said that one of the things that you like about playing receivers, you're not, not really sure if you're going to make the catch or not. Yeah, you yeah. were talking about sort of that whole thing. Kind of elaborate on that and how it's kind of like a little game inside of the game for you. Yeah. Right? I mean, the best moment, I think I said some. the best moment, the best feeling is like when you see the ball, you don't know if you're going to catch it. You know, you reach out and it yeah. falls in your hands just that um anxiety i guess the uh the all that stuff that plays into it you know it feels good just the relief you know yeah. it's it's an amazing feeling and yeah that catch i guess yeah that was definitely one of those feelings <laughs> all right well uh we're gonna let you keep getting right for this uh this weekend's thank game you. man we appreciate uh yes, your time and, and i love just watching you grow man it's real fun to watch thank man. you i appreciate, appreciate it. thanks for having me on